Ladies and gentlemen, this is the year 2022. But did you know that even till now, there are some skincare ingredients or skincare products that are still harmful for your skin, which are still included in your skincare products. Now in this video, we'll be sharing with you seven toxic skincare ingredients which might be harmful for you. Now before we continue with the video, we realize that most of you are not subscribers. So if you do not mind help subscribing to the channel, it will actually help keep out all our videos ad-free and sponsorship-free. Great day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor. And welcome to Skin Fix, the platform whereby we educate you regarding everything on skin and skincare related matters and bring you the latest update from time to time on skincare issues. Human beings have been obsessed with healthy skin for millennia. That means from the early Egyptians till today at the year 2022, we are using a lot of skincare ingredients or skincare products on our skin. Now, however, with modern technology, as time goes by, we realize that, hey, there are some skincare ingredients, even though they work miraculous on your skin, do have long-term side effects. And at the same time, there are some skincare ingredients which their side effects are over-exaggerated. Now, before we start with the first ingredient, I would like to introduce you to this particular term, the CIR. Now, CIR stands for the Cosmetic Independent Review, and this is an expert panel set up in the US in the 1970s. Now, what they do is they sit down and they discuss which skincare ingredients or which particular skincare products are safe for your skin. On the boards are expert scientists and even the American FDA sits on the board of the CIR. And if you go to the website cir-safety.org, you'll be able to see yearly meetings and yearly updates on skincare ingredients. Now let's start with the first skincare ingredient which is totally toxic and harmful for your body. Let's start with mercury. Now mercury is an element on the periodic table. It is one of the only metals which is available in liquid form under room temperature. Now due to its shiny metallic liquid structure and in the 1920s and 30s, mercury was added into skincare products. It makes your skin much fairer, much brighter. And because of this, a lot of people want to have nice fairer skin and a shortcut is by using mercury on your skin. However, mercury is dangerous for human beings. Even the small minute amount can kill you. There are many symptoms of mercury poisoning. The most common is skin irritation. What you realize when you're using mercury on your skin is your skin gets thinner and you're gonna get more acne breakouts. And once the mercury is absorbed into your bloodstream, it travels all over your body and affects your internal organs and your nervous system. It can lead to kidney damage, liver failure. It can even lead to blindness of the eyes. And if it affects your nervous system, it can lead to depression, anxiety, and even psychosis. Now, one of the most terrible things of mercury poisoning is there is no known cure. It means once a human being has ingested or the mercury is absorbed by your bloodstream, the results are permanent. So because of this, mercury is banned, not only by the FDA, but by all pharmaceutical body worldwide in all the countries in the world. However, in many parts of the world, there are still unscrupulous <laughs> merchants adding in mercury into their skincare products just for the quick results. Now, one of the common ways to understand whether mercury is available in your skincare product or not is by looking at the skincare itself. The cream generally have this yellowish orangey hue. Now, most creams are white, maybe a bit yellowish in color, but this is really bright orange. On top of that, mercury has a very pungent smell. And to hide the pungent smell, most of the time, merchants or manufacturers will increase the amount of fragrance in the skincare. That means that your skincare smells just like perfume. And third of all, most of the time, they come packaged in small bottles. 
generally unlabeled. Now, if you're using skincare, which are bright orange or really, really smell too fragrant, those might be red flags. Now, they are alternatives to skin brightening. Now, the main alternative and is safe to use is vitamin C. Now, topical vitamin C is known to clear and brighten your skin in just under four to six weeks. On top of that, there are other skincare ingredients like kojic acid, alpha brutin, or even niacinamide to help you give you a fairer skin. So, please stop using mercury products. Hey guys, let me know in the comments below which brand of skincare that you know that contains mercury. Now, the second ingredient that might be harmful for your skin are parabens. Parabens are mainly used to extend the shelf life of your skincare products. They are also found in hair products, in body wash. Now, are parabens actually harmful for your body? There was a research that shows that ingesting paraben disrupts your endocrine system, leading to a higher case of breast cancer. However, that particular study has been debunked over and over again. Now, if you go to the CIR website, it shows you the allowed limit of paraben in skincare and in your hair care products. In minute amounts, paraben is actually safe to use. However, if you have sensitive skin, if you have chronic eczema, or even issues with psoriasis, even a minute amount of paraben can irritate your skin. And one of the advice I would give pregnant women is if it's possible, try paraben-free products. There are plenty of paraben-free products in the skincare market now because of the organic movement. So if you have access to paraben-free products, please use them, but do not be afraid of paraben. The third ingredient which is harmful for your skin, parfum. Now, parfum is actually artificial fragrance. So if you have a look at the back of your skincare product, most of your skincare products do contain artificial fragrance. Now, the reason why artificial fragrance is still added in a lot of skincare products is because Skincare ingredients don't really smell the best. So one of the ways to market, to mass market, and to allow a mass market adoption is to add a little bit of fragrance into your skincare. Now, in majority of the cases, artificial fragrance is not harmful for your skin. However, if you are suffering from sensitive skin, the addition of artificial fragrance can irritate your skin and irritate your nose as well. So if you're someone that wants to use skincare products but do not want to use artificial fragrance, look for skincare products that add in fruit essence or flower oils instead, which gives your skincare a much more natural and organic smell. Now the fourth ingredient which is very popular in body wash, SLS. Sodium Lauryl Sulfate and so Sodium Laureth Sulfate, S-L-E-S have a main function in your body wash and in your face wash. It is the foaming substance. It means that your soap, your body wash, and your cleansers naturally do not have foam. The SLS was added long time ago to give it that foamy texture. And because psychologically, if you do not have foam in your body wash and your cleanser, you might feel that your body wash and your cleansers are not doing its job of cleaning your skin properly. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a marketing psychological trick. You do not actually need SLS or SLES to thoroughly clean your skin. SLS and SLES has long been rumored to be associated with cancer. However, there's no proven scientific study that it actually causes cancer. However, SLS and SLES can actually trigger skin allergies. So if it's possible, go out, buy a body wash and a cleanser without SLS and without SLES. Are you guys still using SLS in your face wash and in your body wash? Let me know in the comments below why you're still using them. Now, the fifth ingredient you might not have heard of is phthalates. Phthalates are chemical compounds added to plastic bottles. However, it's also added to skincare as well. There are three known phthalates, DEP, DEHP, and DBP. Now, it's pretty a mouthful, yeah? Now, the function of phthalates is to make your skincare more pliable, more easier to apply on your skin, and at the same time, allows the fragrance to actually stick to your skincare. However, phthalates have been banned in the EU all three of them. But in the United States, the FDA still allows DEP. Phthalates have been associated with a lower reproductive rate. That means it makes people sterile. However, there's no research that shows a direct causative factor between infertility and phthalates. But it's better to be safe than sorry, isn't it? 
So if it's possible, try and avoid phthalates as much as possible, even though it's been approved by the FDA to be used. Ingredient number six, PEG, polyethylene glycol. It's a very common skincare ingredient in your skincare. I'm very certain if you go and have a look at your skincare ingredients at the back, you will definitely find PEG. Now, PEG is added into skincare products to thicken it. So, if you want a thicker moisturizer, you add a little bit more PEG. Now, PEG has been associated with infertility and higher risk of certain cancer. However, there's no direct correlation between PEG and cancer, hence it's still allowed in most of your skincare. To understand why PEG is allowed in your skincare, you can always visit the CII website. If you can find skincare products which does not contain PEG, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Now, the last ingredient we're going to be talking about is triclosan or triclocarbon. Now, these two ingredients are added because it has antimicrobial and antibacterial properties. So to prevent growth of bacteria and fungi in your skincare, manufacturers adding triclosan. Now, triclosan has long been rumored to cause infertility. And yes, FDA actually banned the use of triclosan in antibacterial soap. Now, this was the ruling in 2016. However, triclosan is still being used in toothpaste, in your hairspray, and in a lot of skincare products. Now, this is because the FDA didn't find any relationship between triclosan and infertility. So, if you're someone who is suffering from asthma or someone with a chronic obstructive lung disorder, you might want to avoid products, whether it's hairspray, whether it's skincare, or whether it's body wash that contains triclosan. All right, guys, there you have it. Seven skincare ingredients that is toxic for your skin and you might want to avoid them. Let me know in the comments below which other ingredients that I've missed out. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell button because we release new videos on a weekly basis. That's it from me. I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor. And always remember, stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay informed. Are you tired of wasting time and money on your skin, but nothing works? We are here to help. SkinFix is a platform that provides personal care education completely free. SkinFix is run by skin doctors and skincare experts. You can chat and consult with our skin doctors without ever leaving your home. Other than free advice, SkinFix also provides tailor-made solutions for your skin problem with customized medical-grade skincare delivered right to your doorstep. SkinFix, your digital skin doctor.